had to be in there somewhere when I was oh. my first one. <laughs> they don't remember back that <laughs> far. <laughs> okay. White flag. White flag. One to go. Coming around the Daytona 500 winner, Sterling Marlin. Looking up Jimmy Spencer just in front of him. Boy, this is a moment. He's diving along. Set on the pole at 181.439. He will become only the fifth driver in 35 years to win the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte, North Carolina from the pole. Checkers are out, and they are down, and it is Jeff Gordon victorious this evening on this Memorial Weekend. Gordon has two and a half miles to go before he wins this event. It'll be his second NASCAR Winston Cup victory. He it, brings the car through corner number one, okay, and onto the short shoot. There's Brent Bodine. It looks like Brent's getting a little bit closer, but does he have time? He is getting closer. Off to the back stretch now with less than one half lap to go for Jeff Gordon. He eyes turn number three. Listen to the crowd as they acknowledge Jeff Gordon when he goes by. It's an unbelievable situation in Indianapolis. Here he is in the fourth turn. This is his final trip around turn number four. And Jeff Gordon is about to write his name in the racing history books. Years from today when 79 stock car races have been run here, we'll remember the name. Jeff Gordon, winner of the inaugural Brickyard 400. It's going to be Jeff Gordon winning, Jarrett second, third goes to Musgrave, then Burton, and then Mark Martin. Followed by six, Ward Burton seventh, Martin is eighth, and Hamilton, Hamilton the petty car is in ninth. Here come Phil Elliott back on the inside off turn four. And trouble. There's trouble coming down off that banking. One, two, three. Denson's car among them as they come to the line. Caution is coming out. That could be the final lap under green. And flashy one. Jennifer couldn't have hit it better. And they couldn't have hit it better. Look at them lining up to come across. Chunkers and yellow. And Terry Labonte pulls up. And here comes the 25 car up. This reminds me of the 24 hours of Daytona, the year the Ferraris won it. Do you hear that lady anywhere? I think it's over, folks. It looks to me like the race right now is the third and fourth. You're looking at it. Jeff Gordon's coming down. Been a solid performance, but again, he was fast in final practice yesterday. So, not to be a surprise. He might have lagged back at times, gotten caught in traffic, but the DuPont Chevy does it again. Win number six of the year. Jeff Gordon wins. Jeff Burton is second, Dale Jarrett third. Here is Gordon, headed down for... 
turn with the uh, inner loop, I get No, turn 10. Turn 10. He's the left hand he loves so much. He made a couple of passes there today and drives by it for the final time. Now he heads for turn number 11, the final turn on the course. Jeff Gordon has won the Bud at the Glen. His eighth win of the 1997 season, his 27th career victory, and now it's complete. One more lap around. One mile now remaining for Jeff Gordon. He started fourth. This will be his third Rockingham win and his 30th career victory. Of those 30 victories, 22 have been on super speedways. And he has now won 28 of the last 100 Winston Cup races. Jeff Gordon wins at Rockingham. Rusty Wallace second. So is Terry Labonte. Side yeah. by side behind Gordon. Right now they're running side by side. Jeff Gordon saying, I love it. He'll try to run in the middle part of the racetrack. So one car does not get a great run down the back straightaway. They mix it up again behind Gordon. Mayfield. Here comes Bobby Labonte to the outside. What a move on the high side, making it three wide in the turn three. Bobby Labonte looks like he has a car to be. a good day in his attempt to win yet another NASCAR Winston Cup championship. He will have led the most laps today and collect those extra bonus points in his attempt to overtake Sterling Marlin for the title. They got the breakthrough win with the bump and run at Bristol last Saturday night. There'll be no bump and run, but he'll have tamed Darlington Raceway for another time today. Jeff Gordon wins the Southern 500. He hadn't all day. 
Bush to the outside. Gordon slaps the door and the turn three. Six cars have a chance to win it. Jeff Gordon's going to lead him into turn four. They're one mile from home. Tony Stewart just slid up the racetrack. He and Jimmy Johnson are going to make contact. Three wide. They're bouncing off each other. Jeff Gordon's going to win his third Daytona 500. A great American race. Leader has the white flag, final lap of the race. The caution comes out from here on in, the race is over. One eye out the windshield, one eye on the fuel pressure. Uh -huh. Gage. Jeff Burton, that 31 car closes in. Harvick still trying to get by Bush for third spot. Here comes Gordon. Looks like he's going to make it. Jeff Gordon's going to score his first win at Chicago. I, I'm not trying to start anything here, guys, but that right rear tire on that 24 car looks soft. I guess it didn't. But I know one thing, Stewart is closing in a hurry. He's got a half a lap to go, Mike. I guess Jeff is just being that cautious, but I thought I saw that right rear tire. Looked like it was a little soft. Jeff Gordon rounds turn four. Become the first driver in the history of Phoenix International Raceway to win a cup race from the pole. Jeff Gordon finally gets his first Phoenix win and ties Dale Earnhardt. flag three wide here comes tony stewart up on the high side and the white flag is out it's waving three wide jimmy johnson jeff gordon trying to hang on to the bottom drafting help from behind with blaney in the toyota up high tony stewart gets help from casey Kane. that's four wide down the back straightaway hamlin on the inside here comes here comes gordon on the outside jeff gordon has moved up in front he's tony, tony stewart and to get the push by jeff gordon they fight Jimmy Johnson sideways as he went to the gas hard. Look at him sliding off the corner. Half a lap to go. There is lap traffic ahead. We've had fantastic finishes in Atlanta. Will this be another side-by-side -side run to the checkers? It's going to be a sideways run to the checkers. Johnson tries to get there. Can't get it done. Career win number 85. Jeff Gordon third on NASCAR's all-time win list. Wow. Very good races, but just find ways not to win once again today. Already there, bud. He's in the last lap. And as we look out the window across at the grandstands, all the fans that are here at the Speedway today are now on their feet, watching to see if Jeff Gordon comes back around to take another checkered flag. Final quarters. He won the first one in 1994. 20 years later, he wins the 21st. Checker flag in the Brickyard 400 to Jeff Gordon. Yeah, buddy. Jeff Gordon looking for a storybook in there to the 2015 season. Out of three and four, this win's going to punch his ticket to the championship four. Gordon wins at Martinsville.
career and more importantly he moves into a position where he could get his fifth championship. Sunoco continues to fuel victories.